You know, I guess, I guess what Journey offers, what we try to uh, do in the 10 days, uh, having such a diverse backgrounds of, of people who come and uh, speak, what it is really, it, it's we, we cover every aspect we believe is important for um, for young upcoming journalists to uh, to cover before they actually decide what type of journalism will they will they end up doing. So when I when I came here, I expected that I would meet a lot of young, interesting journalists, people that were passionate about it, and I did. But it exceeded my expectations because everyone's been so amazing, and uh, I did not expect to meet and speak to so many incredible professional journalists. Kind of sums up everything that you're kind of hoping to say, uh, and this is a very New Yorker style. Those of us who have been in the business for years have developed uh, certain ways of approaching sources, ways of dealing with information, uh, and uh, dealing with governments. And that we have an opportunity here with younger students of journalism, those who are entering, uh, to, to share those best practices with them so they're more effective and more able to do their jobs. So I know you guys have all done a lot of interviews already, so I'd like you to take a minute for me, as a teacher and a writer, it's exciting. You come here and there are students from all over Eastern Europe, along with the US and UK. It's no longer a guarantee that you'll have a community. Many of us are freelance. So for this group to come together and to connect around journalism, uh, I think it's got tremendous value when they go back out into the world. My view, though, is that this is a great time for us to be journalists. You have all different facets of what you encounter as a journalist. I think um, the value of that is that I think if you're starting out, uh, you, you don't necessarily know exactly how you want to do this. And I think it's a good way, especially when you're starting out, to perhaps plant new ideas in your head, perhaps uh, consider how you, might, how, how you might pursue your career. I think when the fellows come here, a lot of them are coming from a classroom environment. So they've done the theory, but they've never been out to do the real live stuff. So we warm them up with the practical exercises on Thursdays, and then Fridays we set them loose on the city to find their own stories. They pitch a story to us and then we uh, say yes or no. The field trip exercises uh, were great for me. Um, the track ride experience was amazing. Um, also, how we are a truly international environment and me being an international journalism student, this is a first for me, so I think it's really valuable. It's not just theoretical, you know, listening to somebody for two hours and making no notes and that's over. No, they just listen and they can use it in their own projects and I think it's the key. And during their projects they have the mentors so they can get all the support and create something really good. Use the knowledge they had uh, in a project they're doing. Making sure that there are experts that can be consulted. It's like kind of paradise for me when I can study, meet new people, uh, get new contacts, uh, a lot of communication advices and I get a lot of information that I can use in my life that helps me to improve myself like a journalist. It, it kind of fairy tale for me.